Hey, good afternoon. This is Mr. William, West Virginia. It's the 31st day of December 2018, and this is your second message of the day. And it comes from the fact that uh, I've had uh, fluid in one ear. It's kind of shut off the hearing. So I had to go to a doctor, and they prescribed a uh, medicine for me, uh, a nasal steroid. Uh, and as I was looking down through the paperwork, I noticed that it, it tells you about the effects of... Uh, uh, not the effects, but the side effects, the things that can happen to you while taking this drug. And it, basically at the bottom it says uh, all drugs may, ha may cause side effects. However, many people have no side effects or only have minor side effects. Call your doctor and get uh, medical help if there are any side effects or any other side effects bother you or do not go away. And it was kind of funny because I read that and I thought, you know, it's funny. Everything about life has some kind of a side effect. Um, the only thing that I've found that doesn't have a side effect is following Christ properly. When I look in his word and I look at the, the, the people that followed as perfectly as a human could, uh, the side effects are lessened. Um, and it's almost like uh, scripture says that we reap what we sow. If we sow or if we reap to the spirit, we reap spiritual benefits if we reap to the flesh then we or we sow to the flesh we sow corruption so there is a side effect to life in that if you are a good person you know what it's just it's a it's a normal law we reap what we sow so if you if you do what's good good's going to happen and if you are evil and nasty and mean bad stuff will happen and it's kind of like, it's a, it's a law. It's almost like gravity. You can't get away from gravity. You can't get away from the law of sowing and reaping, whether you're in God's kingdom or whether you're just walking around in life. And, but, but, but you want to lessen the side effects. As a, as a retired nurse, I've tried to take very little medicine because I know that every bit of medicine that man has made is going to have a side effect. And uh, so I keep it at the least amount that I, that I take. Um, and it's been good for me. I don't know about you. Some people have to take medicine. They have to take stuff for blood pressure. They have to take stuff for, uh, for uh, you know, for blood sugar. For you know, there's all kinds of things that you have to take that you have to take because you have these maladies. But I've had very little, so I've had to take very little medicines. Uh, I take a lot of supplements because I have food allergies and fruit allergies. But that's you know, that's another deal. Uh, there's very little side effects to those. Hopefully, they're beneficial. Um, but the thing is, is that we want to do in life, we want to do whatever we can to lessen the side effects. So again, as you get ready to go into the new year, think about the things you're doing because there's always consequences to what we're doing. And I think about them all the time and I worry about whether I'm doing the right thing or the wrong thing, whether I'm doing what God wants me to or what I'm doing. I'm, I'm always thinking about it. And then I'm always thinking about the side effects. I'm always thinking about what would happen if things go wrong. What happens if, you know, you do this and you get caught or whatever, you know, so you, you have to think about those things. I tell my children all the time, it just takes one time of being in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong person and your whole life can be redirected. That's the side effect of living on planet earth is that there's always that chance of doing something dumb that could get you incarcerated or get you shot or get you, uh, in a, in a lot of trouble. Uh, and, you know, most of us don't listen to the advice. I know at times I probably haven't. Um, so with that being said, I hope you have a great rest of the day. Try and avoid the side effects by uh, paying attention to what you're doing. Okay. I love you. But more importantly, God loves you. Shalom.